Hey guys, so nice of you to join me again today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Margaret. I'm from the Netherlands. I am a crafter, paper crafting, junk journaling and such. Uh, I have no prototype on my desk, but I have an idea and this is my inspiration, this book. Let me tell you a little bit about this book. This book is by Reader's Digest, which is a great publisher. And it's a Dutch book, of course. It's a handbook for practical gardening. But I do believe this book is also available elsewhere in the world. Because most of the people that uh, made this book, you can probably cannot see it, have English names. So I believe... You can get it like anywhere. Uh, this is from 1982. I love this book because of the shape of the pages. Um, if you use the pages, you can make like uh, a journal signature out of them. And I put them in journals a lot, but I especially love the illustrations that are in here. They have these um, uh, black ones, but they also have the colored ones, a couple of them, not a lot. Uh, but I especially love these ones, like the green illustrated ones and they also have some brown ones oh yeah in the back they have some brown illustrations and all these i mean it's very versatile so i love this book and it is uh, overlooked in uh, thrift shops i find them very regularly and at a very reasonable price so if you find this book in dutch or um in your own language pick it up because it's a very good one now let me tell you what we are going to make with this I use a lot of envelopes in my crafting and most of the time these craft envelopes, these craft papers come in this package. This is not craft, I know. Uh, these packages with cards and envelopes. I don't use the card because I'm not a card maker. So I am left with all these cards. Um, what I do most of the time is just cut them in half and use them as, uh, you know, a piece of paper. But I want to use it as a whole. So what I thought was, I'm going to flip it over on its side. I want to have this in a journal and then make this a pocket. Yes. And then flip this up and have a journal spot here and then decorate over here. That's the idea. Um, so that's like the idea then what, what I want to do. And then use all, uh, well, not all of these, but some of these beautiful. These are from the book. And these are just lovely. It's full of botanicals like fruits and flowers and trees and such. And vegetables. I love look, look at the carrots. I just love them. They're very neutral. So um, you can do anything. And these are the brown ones. Yeah. Oh, it's upside down. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's cute. What else am I going to use? Scraps. Uh, bits and bobs. My bits and bobs. Anything I have lying around. And I want this to be in a neutralist, neutral greenish color. For not probably buying botanical journal. So I'm um, going to use glue. Yeah. And uh, some uh, scrap paper. So nothing that special. Let's get started. Because I want to use this in my botanical journal. Um, I want to take some measurements. Uh, these are not exact measurements. These are the measurements for my journal. If your journal is bigger or smaller. Use your own measurements. If you have not seen my botanical journal. Um, this is the one. Um, let's, I believe this is 5 inches. Let's just take a big page. I believe these were like oh, five and a half inches. So I'm going to make them 5 inches wide. Which is a little bit smaller than the card is. Yeah, it, this is almost 6. So I am going to cut a piece off before I start decorating it. Otherwise I have to do it afterwards. And that we do not want. <clears throat> so this cutting machine does not go to five inches but it does go to one so i'm just going to take off one inch yes reverse psychology <laughs> there you go so this is the size that i'm working with today this is going to be the top because i want to fold it like so um First, I want to do the cover because that's the nice thing. I want to use a technique that I used a while ago. I do not know where I saw it, probably on Pinterest or on Instagram or something. I want um, there to be a little bit of a background with some of these papers. But I want to, I want to have sort of a ripped effect. This is very thin paper, old. 
here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put glue basically where I would like the paper to be. I want the paper to be over here, like this corner and this corner. So I'm putting down glue where I want it. A little bit raggedy, yep. And then also here on the bottom side, all the way to the edge. So I'm just gluing the surface that I want my paper to be on. Will this fit? No. <laughs> Gonna rip this off because I don't like the blank space. If you hear some rumbling, the, it's the painters at my neighbor's house. They are painting. So I'm just gonna stick this on here. And then I'm going to stick this on here. Just, you know, random. I have a bit over here left. Do I have another piece? Oh, I'm gonna make another piece. I'm not being precise. I'm just putting it down and pressing it real real hard also want a piece over here a little more glue like so now what you need to do is let it dry for a bit yeah so i'm gonna do that hopefully i let it dry enough i don't know I have no clue. I only did this once and it worked really, really well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sort of peel off the paper and hopefully it will stick where we wanted it to stick. Yeah, see, it works. You have to be careful. And I wanted this to have like the ripped effect. See, looks like this. It has like sort of a ripped effect. I really like this as sort of a background. Yeah, I'm gonna trim the edges a little bit. Uh, where are my scissors? I am in my craft room again, guys, yes at my new desk and I organized everything so it is hopefully in reach I hope it is um, but you know um, well if you don't my craft room is in our conservatory or sunroom as you want to call it I don't know Serre in Dutch or maybe even in French um, and it's hot <laughs> and it's a very hot day today so it's very very early so this is the first part of the background. I want to add some more things. I also want to do some stenciling in the back instead of stamping. Most of the time I stamp because I have this uh, stencil that I've used a couple of times and I used my stays on instead of the stress ink. So it's green now forever, but that's okay because I'm probably going to use this in green all the time. Um, yeah, these are sort of vines or something. I don't know. I like them, uh, but I want them to go this way. So this is a very handy too as well. Stuck on here and I, I decided to leave it on there. Um, because, you know, that works very well, in my opinion. So I'm just going to sort of position it. And like so. Shall I take out my stenciling tool? I will. Oops, I'm sorry. This is my stenciling tool, but then you you will see my ring lights. I have two. I have a big one, a small one. Um, this is magnetic, so I'm going to put this in between, and I do believe the magnetic part will still work then. Hopefully, it does. Yeah. Do I want it over here a little bit lower, like so. There, there, and there. I had a lot of questions about this stenciling tool. This is from Action. It is not a real brand or anything. It was very, very cheap, uh, but it works fine. And you can also use it for different, um, let me get my brush, different purposes as well. That's a couple of questions I got about this tool. 
yeah oh well let's see if this works oh i'm sorry for the noise they are breaking down they have like this whole construction where the painters stand on for painting uh, gutters of the roofs i believe i don't know the english word for it steiger that's like the dutch word but i don't know the english word hopefully this works because i cannot really see uh, because of the background is in a craft color but i believe it will it probably will let's quickly check if this works oh yes and it's lovely a little bit more over here yeah let's see see it's almost like I'm making a card, I know. I have added one more fine here because it was blank space and I was like, why not? So I added one more. Let's now decide which of the images uh, I want to use on here. How about them apples? That's a little bit big. <laughs> um, these are cherries. That could be nice. Or strawberries. This is making me hungry again. Strawberries or... Um, plums? These plums or peaches? I believe they're plums. Is it upside down? No, no. <laughs> the plums are not going this way, hon. They are growing this way. But well, that could be nice. And these are some sort of pumpkin pumpkins. I don't know. The berries. Oh, I think I like the berries. Also, it has more green on it. I'm going for the berries. Yes, berries it is. I believe these are currants or blackberries. I don't, I'm not very familiar with those. Yes, we're going to use these. Uh, it could be done. But you know me, it's not done uh, before I've used my bits and bobs. So I have uh, my bits and bobs here in a small tray. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, of course, I want to label. I, I did some um, preparations in advance. I know I want to use this label because it's the same color green. Um, and then I have all these tickets. I think I like this one best. These are from my friend Leonis at um, Young Journal Paper Sale. And I have no idea where they are from. They're bus tickets for sure. But where from? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to use one of them, I guess. And then we need something here. Also, I have the washies. All sorts of washies. Maybe just some normal green ones, yeah. Probably some washi. Oops. You are covering the paper that you... I know, I know. I know, but not a lot. I'm not covering it a lot. Just a bit. Maybe some behind this ticket. So over here, over here, oh, I actually like this here. And then over here, that's nice. Does it need a little bit, maybe a stamp, a post-it stamp? Let's see, are these my stamps? No, these are Tracy labels, stamps, yes. Let's have a green one, why not? I'm thinking about my queen. These, yes. I have a lot of these. Don't know, I don't know. I'm 
that looks better. Yes, I'm going to glue everything down. Everything is glued down. I really like it. But then I got this feeling. This more is more feeling. So I took out some more labels because I just adore this here. And I'm thinking to put a piece of this in this corner and then the other piece in the other corner. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, let me get my scissors. I'm just going to cut these in half. Sort of in half. I'm gluing this part over here. Yep. And that part over there. Yeah. A uh, glue page piece, please. Yeah. And this part just over here. We are not inking it. No, I'm not inking it today. Well, you cannot tell because I have very inky fingers. Um, but I'm not inking it. Oh, I love this one over here. I'm going to have this one. I could flip it over. But it will be upside down then, right? Or not? Yeah, so no, I'm not flipping it over. So I'm trimming it. Could save it. See, you could put this like in another corner somewhere. Um, but I'm not saving it. <laughs> no, no, no. I have so many papers already. Going to have this a little bit more. Yeah. I'm just losing the last edge. Yeah. Yeah, now it's done. Now it's done. Um, I want to do uh, the inside. Let's do put some paper on here that looks nice and that you can journal on. You could leave, leave it like this because you, know, you can write on here. Let me zoom you out a little bit. But um, I have some paper that I really want to use for this project. Let me get it. If you see my thrift haul a couple of days ago, you've seen me buy it. Well, you've not seen me buy this one, but I bought this one with this sort of graph paper in a lovely color green. So yeah, I'm using one of these to put on the inside. I thought that would look nice. I am going to uh, lose the white borders and I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge on all sides. So what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to measure it and then cut this out. I'll be right back. I decided to use two pieces. I want to cut, uh, put a piece over here and then put a piece over here. Yeah. And also I decided on rounding the corners. I'm going to do that in advance. And let's see, let's do the seven millimeters. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just like it. Um, I'm going to do the bottom one as well. There you go. Yep. So yeah, I'm gluing these in. I love this paper. The color is so nice. And also, as I mentioned, I have uh, some in red and some in orange and some in blue. I don't believe there are more colors. If, if you have more colors, please let me know. Because then I must be on the lookout for more of these colors. Yep. Want to decorate it? A little bit. I'm just going to decorate it a little bit. I'm just using ordinary glue stick for this. I'm not going to use my art glitter glue for this one. Um, let's washi it. I have this washi that I really like and hardly ever use. Well... Maybe I will start using my washes now. Yep. Ripping them up again. Yes, I just like that effect. Oh, 
over here and let's do this one on the top. That was not intentional, but it worked very nice. Ooh. I was thinking about double washing it, but I don't know now. Well, yeah, a little bit. This is washi tape it has some uh, sort of script on it. It is a set from my Uncle Ali's. And I have had it for a long time and I was afraid to use it because there's very little on the roll. See, double washing it. Yes, isn't that a lovely card? Yeah. So I want to glue it on three sides. I am going to glue it into, into my journal. I will. But it flips up little bit but i have a solution for that um i'm gonna show you i'm using the book again i want to have um an image that i don't think i will use like these i won't use these well i could use this as a as a complete page in in a journal but i will not use the images by themselves um, i have a couple of these that i don't think I might. Yeah, these ones. And I want to make tabs. Where are my tabs? I want to use this set. And I'm going for the medium ones. Or the smaller ones. Maybe the smaller ones. Because I want to make a closure with the tabs. I would like so. Yeah, that looks nice. So, I want an image. Normally, I would take out all the pages, but this book has been cut in already. Ooh, do, wanna, do not want to lose that. <laughs> I don't want to lose that. I can lose a little bit of this. So, I'm just going to cut out an image. Let's do both. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Sure, but uh, this is going to be sort of flimsy. So I want to back it. I already have another piece of this cardstock. I'm just going to glue this piece on. Not going to be careful of anything or precise. Just gluing it on. And then I should let it dry. I know, I know I should let it dry. But who has time for that? I don't. should do two <laughs> i have this one as well why not just do two well i did you won't be able to like recognize what's on there once you cut them out but they'll have it'll have the same color um my tape that i use i just use some washi tape that i never use and never will use with like this is very cheap stuff from action i'm just gluing this down yes and I'm going to run this very quickly through my um, die cut machine. And so they look like this. And they are cute. See, this book is amazing. Just buy the book when you see it. Um, I have to, I only need one. I only need the one. Uh, what I'm also going to use is uh, one of my other favorite bits. These are the small Velcro dots. Both of these, the, the Velcro dots and these are available on uh, AliExpress, but also on Amazon. Of course, on Amazon, it's a little bit more expensive, but it, you will get the product like within two days and not 15 months. <laughs> um, maybe this is something you can use to, you know, order it. I love this. Um, and the Velcro dots, the small ones, this is these are like 10 millimeters. 
Um, I'm going to first fold these in half. Hopefully they're dry enough to fold. Normally this is a tab and you will put it on like this so you can open it up. But I am going to use this as a closure, which means this part is going to be glued on the bottom of this. And this is going to be the closure. Yeah. So first I'm going to glue this to the bottom. Which side do we like better? This one or this one? Probably this one. So I'm gluing this part. I am using art glitter glue for this because I want to make sure it is stuck. Really, really stuck. Oh, it's warm again. So art is um, dripping. It's dripping. There you go. Positioning it in the sort of in the middle. You can eyeball this. I'm not gluing it all the way um, to the to the edge. I'm leaving a little bit. See, a tiny bit. Be sure it's stuck. Then um, for these ones, the woolly bit. The woolly bit is never going on the decorative uh, decorative page. The woolly bit is going to be on this one. And I also want these to be very very precise. So I am attaching them, attaching them together. Words today. I know. They're very sticky, so that's a good thing. And then gluing this in the middle, folding it over, and then carefully the first time removing it from each other. So why am I um, putting the woolly bit on here? Because uh, I don't want this to show. I want this to be, this is the clear bit, yeah. So it closes like this now. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I wish I had a small, tiny label on here. But maybe, maybe I do. Maybe, maybe I do. Uh, I don't know for sure where it would be. If I have it. Yes, if I have it, it is in here. Oh, yes, I have. I have some. Do I also have some in green? That'd be nice. Thank you. No green. Sorry, you cannot see it. I have printed these like four to a page or something, and then they will be very, very small. These are Tracy labels. I don't, oh, I have this green one. No, it's too big. So I'm using a blue one instead. Yes, I love that. I love that. I'm sure I'm not. I don't have a green one. Why don't I have a green one? Well, I have lots of green ones, but they're too big. So I'm using a small. That is a lot of glue for such a tiny, tiny. Yes. Perfect. The only thing we need to do now is glue it into my journal. And I have been going through my journal. And this is, in my opinion, the perfect page. Because it has nothing over here. And all sorts of beautiful stuff over here. And I really love the colors. And when you flip it open, it's like basically the same color. So, uh, absolutely perfect. I'm going to use art for this. Art is not happy today because it is way too warm. Oh, I have another small label. Um, so yeah, it will be dripping everywhere. Only gluing it to both sides and the bottom, not the top. And that way we create a pocket. There you go. Quickly closing it up. Can see oh, it's dripping, dripping, dripping. Why are you closing it up like this? Oh, and now, and now I'm all sticky. Now I'm all sticky. Okay. I am also not going to stick it all the way to the bottom. And there you go. 
need to press it down. Please stay. I love art glitter glue. Um, the other day, well, a couple of weeks ago, Leonie and I, we went shopping and uh, she had her first bottle of art glitter glue and she was a little bit, not, not skeptical, but like, really, it's that good? Yes, it is. And she sent me a text this week and she was like, yeah, it's that good. It really is. Hopefully it will stay on. It needs to dry a little bit more. And then you have a pocket here and then you flip this open and you have a journaling spot. And I absolutely adore it. Yes, love it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back um, for sure Friday. Friday is the 1st of July. It's going to be Junk Journal July. And we are going to make a small, simple, easy, easy journal then to use. Uh, for the whole month of July. Have a wonderful day. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm almost at 2000. It's amazing. I will I will have a freebie uh, after uh, I have 2000 subscribers and not a freebie. I'll scan some beautiful papers. Thank you for hanging out for me with me today. Have uh, give my video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>